Welcome to the basics of search and search data lesson. In this lesson, you will learn the basics of performing a search in ThoughtSpot and how to complete a basic search on your selected data source using the search data option. Using the search data option in ThoughtSpot, you can find insights on your data such as this. Insights can be either in the form of visualizations or tables. Let's learn some of the terminologies used while searching your data in ThoughtSpot. Measures are numerical values you can do math on with meaningful results. You will most likely find your measures on the y-axis of your chart. For example, sales information, shipping cost, or quantity. Not all numbers are measures. Attributes are primarily text or date values. Attributes make up the x-axis of your chart most of the time. Some examples of attributes are product or store information, title or region. Other common search terms you will encounter are data values. Data values include any searchable data field. Think of the specific data in each cell of a row. For example, all electronics, California, New York, etc. Filters are used to refine or narrow down your search results from a set of data. You can think of filters as pulling out the specific data values that appear in a spreadsheet. Common filters to apply in a search can include a date filter, where you can filter your data to show them between a specific date. For example, between the 1st of July and the 10th of October. Another term to know is keywords. Keywords are pre-configured in ThoughtSpot and are used to simplify your search experience. For example, average, hourly, or last month. In ThoughtSpot, these data elements are identified in the search bar by color, with measures appearing in green, attributes in blue, and filters and keywords in gray. Understanding these terms will help you understand how they work together when you search. ThoughtSpot will help provide suggestions of column names or data values that match what you have entered as you type. So let's say you wanted to know what the top 10 selling items are. We generally recommend starting with a measure like sales followed by an attribute. These search phrases can be used in a variety of combinations, say with one measure and two or more attributes or with date keywords. Now let's add a keyword and narrow down our results to show data for the top 10. When first using search data, you may not know what measures and attributes are available to you, so another way to add terms to your search is through the side data panel which provides a list of columns arranged categorically into measures and attributes. Now, let us start with a new query to determine total sales by state. Simply select the checkbox corresponding to a column to add it to the search bar. A side panel opens showing detailed information about that column as you double-click on a column. Click the column information icon to close the side panel. Because search results are provided in real time, you can quickly clear your screen to start another search, but this means that the results you were just looking at will disappear. Let's perform another search. For example, sales by region. You can deep dive on your data by drilling down on points of interest. Right click on West chart bar, click drill down and select a column. Click undo to go back to the original visualization. So when you perform a common search that you'll want to reference later on, or when you create a new useful result, make sure to save it. In ThoughtSpot, this type of saved search result is called an answer.